Thanks. Roxanne, Roxanne. All she want to do is party all night. A bum. That's what he is. A bum. Yeah, boy. I'm so stoked, my dudes. <laughs> what? 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 And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old rub it up. Alright, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing another player review, and a highly requested one is Jamie Vardy. And of course, he did cost quite a bit, so if you haven't seen my new pack opening, make sure you do watch that to see how I can afford him and these type of players like the Salas, the Adamas, the Vardys. Now, I know at this video, when this does come out, he'll be around 800k, but. It's still gonna not really change my opinion because that's what roughly I bought him for. And you see, three star skills, straight into it, three star skills isn't the best, it's absolutely terrible. I'd have preferred a three star weak foot and four star skills because four star skills you at least can do stuff. But he did get that upgrade on his weak foot, which is quite quite nice. A four star weak foot makes him a bit more usable. And you see, 97 pace probably should have been 99. How good he's been playing this year, and also on based on his other cards. Uh, so that's going to be a big factor how good he is on a striker, that much pace is absolutely amazing. You see shooting 96 again, fantastic, uh, one nearly maxed out pace, maxed out shooting. And then we'll move on to his passing which has been massively upgraded, absolutely crazy how big that upgrade was. And same with his dribbling, you see 87 passing, 94 dribbling, 90 physicals makes him look so much better than he already was uh, when, and everyone had that Premier League uh, predictions video wanted this body to come out and then everyone had the his previous cards and the play of the months uh, which only cost around 20k but now you could finally use them in uh, any team you see traits team player and dives into tackles let's see how good Vardy actually is and is he worth how much he actually costs now the Oh, yeah, the obvious ones out the way. His pace is absolutely phenomenal for a striker to have that much pace and makes him so much usable compared to anyone else. You see, their turns and shoots absolutely gr amazing finishing again, which you would expect him to have maxed out pace, maxed out shooting. You would expect him to be that good. I see his goals to game ratio is one of the best ones I've seen in a while uh, for Premier League tots anyway. Four games played, which is okay. I play the same with the Dama. I normally play four or five games with him, but seven goals, which is absolutely amazing for a striker to do that in a weekend league, which is really, really good. And I really enjoyed playing with him as well. The combination of him and Dama was absolutely amazing. And you see, this was also in Dama's clips, but how he crosses that in and then absolutely amazing finish on Jamie Vardy makes the guy quit. Yes, it was 3 0 already, a uh, 4 0, but that was definitely because of Jamie Vardy. He made him quit. Now you see the 4 star weak foot was a big big upgrade to this Jamie Vardy and actually made him finally kind of usable which made him uh, a lot better, it doesn't really matter where you pass it to him, he could finish it especially his finishing being so high up which made him a lot lot better to use I uh, see I've really really enjoyed playing with him and probably gonna maybe buy him when the price goes down when everyone already has better players than him because they won't know how good this Jamie Vardy actually is now there's something that's been really upgraded with his Jamie Vardy, it's his dribbling. On his second highest rated card, which is his headliners card, which is really, really good card, uh, costs around 180k, he has um, 75 passing and 85 dribbling, which was a big upgrade to him normally. But with 75 passing, it's a plus 12 for his passing to make him 87, and then this is the big one, plus 9 for his dribbling which makes him a lot lot usable and makes him more fun to use as well um, and for his pricing I felt that it was roughly deserved he was a really really good player so definitely definitely deserved and as we mentioned before um, dribbling was a big big aspect to him I felt that he made him so much usable and also made him more uh, team player as they did say because you can see just passing off to the players 
getting in the right position, which is all in his attacking position, which he didn't really have before, but that goal was absolutely amazing and would have not happened if he didn't have that full star weak foot. That was on his weak foot, of course, and he's had really, really good games for me and really definitely can't say that I wouldn't recommend him. He's very, very good, and you see how good he is in front of goal, one-on-ones, Outside the box, he was a bit more useless as he d doesn't have the best finesse shots. But, you know, with this team this season, I definitely, definitely enjoyed him. And we can just move on to his last couple ones, his strength, which is a really interesting one. His strength is so solid and a bit like a dammer, how he can just, he's so fast and strong, he gets past defenders so easily. Now, heading, which he did score a couple, oh, okay, maybe a couple, one or two crosses for me. I, so that was probably the only reason I put him in there for the heading because he was very very uh, nice in that aspect. Now we move on to his cons, which is three star skills, which made him so so hard to use in certain one on ones when you got like you have to get past the defender. You could only run maybe a body faint, but other than that, he couldn't really do any skills. Uh, like you needed a four star skills in that uh, aspect, and you can see someone like Werner, a very very OP card isn't as good because of his 3 star skills. Now, this is my overall rating system. 9.5, which is the highest we have gotten on a player for overall rating and probably deserved how good he has been playing for the club and I just really, really enjoyed playing with him and also found him really, really fun and also he's so, so meta. Before, maybe, if he had better weak for, uh maybe better other aspects to him, maybe better dribbling, maybe better passing. That card has every stopped, has uh, solved it, of course, if with his uh, upgraded massively. You see, I've, the best uh, chem style for him is the artist. I did mention this before. Uh, that just, he doesn't really need, like, something just to improve his, he's got nearly maxed out pass, uh, pace, maxed out shooting with the artist, nearly maxed out passing. Max out dribbling, so it just makes him absolutely even more of a beast. Key pros: his pace and shooting, obvious one for Jamie Vardy. Um, but value for coins a 9.5, again one of the highest. And this is mainly because I know that this is a bit of a high tier card, with him being around 600, 700k. But it just shows, or maybe a mid, a high mid tier card, if you know what I mean. But it just shows how good he is in uh, any sort of game scenario he could score one-on-ones very easily one-on-ones with keeper he could run past defenders quite easily but the only problem with him being a 10 out of 10 rating 10 out of 10 value for coins is his skills which if you're much of a skiller I would, I would stay away from this card but if you're more of a you know you don't mind the three star skills you can live with it then definitely definitely buy this card and I can't wait for his price just to drop enough so I can put him in my starting team because I know that what he could do uh, to defenders is something absolutely crazy gets past them so easily makes my life so much easier to get these clips anyway that'll be all from me peace